my kid. You missed quite a time. Aye. Pity about Nassau and Blackbeard flying the coop. Well, we'll see about Thatch. Vane's off to see him now, and I'm following soon. This is what's left of your experiment in democracy. Aye. We do as we please here, and we take our time doing it. But for Christ's sake, Edward. Don't anything but the stink of riches wrinkle your nose. What's got into you, man? Reality, mate. Reality. See that you ain't pulled into the drink by this drowning rat. Oi! I've lived longer than most men who trod this path. Disappointment you are, Thatch. His mind's made up to stay, he says. It's a soddy. And hang all of you lot that follow this sorry bastard into obscurity. Faith in me is kind. But with Nassau done in, I feel I'm finished. I'm not of the same mind, mate. But I won't begrudge you the state of yours. You still looking for that sage fellow? Aye. Taking a prize a month back, I heard a man named Roberts was working a slave ship called the Princess. I want to say about it, the princess. Cheers, Thatch. Well, don't sit there like a barrel of wet fish. We're celebrating my retirement. <laughs> On this man's breakfast. <laughs> Save us a few bottles, eh? Anything but move, Jenkins. What's the news? There was a deserter among them who recalled my face. I slice into his gullet before any word left his lips. Anybody see? Don't think so, sir. Don't think so, sir. But I reckon Kenway suspects something. He don't miss much. Tell me about the beat. A fair gathering, sir. Most too drunk to stand. That will suit our purpose.
Tell me about Edward Peach. What sort of man is he? It's Thatch, sir. At least that's what he calls himself. But he's a mad bugger, he is. Cracked as a glass peacock, sir. Details now. Stop talking in gibberish. Well, sir, he likes his drink, for instance. He makes him queer. Takes the usual rum for it and fills it with half a weight of gunpowder to top it off. Did I hear you were right? He drinks gunpowder? Aye, sir. Just for show. And only last week, he rounded up a score of his crew and made a sit the old of his shit while he burnt off sulfur and other sickening minerals. We just sat there like it was one of a million pits of hell and nothing less ordinary. Good God! What the hell for? Like to test his crew is all. Tease out their fitness and what. Of course, it always turned out he was the fittest of the lot. Thought for a moment I'd die there. Bloody savages. Have no fear, soldier. This will be the end of them. Come on. It's time. Quickly, send the signal. And remember always this day. What the devil?
Stay out of their range, Captain! Look, they fire fire! Ah! Captain! Curse me. Where's the jackdaw? Fat, sir. Did he fall? Captain? He drinks damnation.
thatch has been topped. Like say. He was outnumbered. I couldn't reach him. Devil damn the man he was fierce, but his heart was divided. It's hard to let go of the life you know best. Uh, my only dear father liked to brag about when he went to purchase a ship of his own. I'll get a privateering contract, Charlie. Your old dad'll be a captain. Drowned in a whiskey bottle before he ever left show. Right, Kenway. We're musing on this plan of yours. This observatory you're always going on about. How do we know it exists? We find a slave ship called the Princess. Aboard to be a man called Roberts. He can lead us to it. All them slavers work for the Royal African Company. Find one of their ships and start asking some questions. What's our course, Captain? We're looking for slave ships. Any that work for the Royal African Company. You don't mean to traffic human cargo now, do you? No, Jesus, Addict. You know me better than that. We're only after information. But we'll find where the Princess docks in the spare time. The Princess? A slave ship? Right. Blackbeard told me there's a good chance we'd find the Sage aboard it. Captain! Damn! Can't that animal stay the course we agreed to? Ready to fire, sir! Our ship is running! Damn fool! I'll get us in close. Haul them in! Get off the wind! They're fearful back to us, sir! Fire! Ground on every inch of sail! Come on, you slugs! Man those sheets! Fire! Damn that Captain Vin! He's unloading everything he has! He'll sink it if he's not careful. We'll get closer. Oh, 
shelter. I'm taking this close. Kenway, we're trying to board that ship, not sink her. Find the captain. Come on, me roysters. You scurvy maggot brains. Guns and steel aren't so louder than sticks and spittle veins. I've more than enough of all that. Just find the captain. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Just 
victorious! This captain claims the princess sails out of Kingston every few months. All right. We'll say a course. You made ash on my sails and rigging jackanapes. You owe me a share. Oh! Oh, damn it, Vane! Oh, Charles, what a surly devil you are. Don't fuck with me, Jack. Oh, but it's my mandate to fuck with you, Charles. Oh. Lads! Ah, see, oh. the boys and I had a bit of counsel while you were wasting time with this slot. And, um, well, they figured I'd be a fitter captain than you reckless dogs. I'll cut you another cut, Tricer! Oh. <laughs> this one I figure I might sell for a tenner down in Kingston, but uh, with you two grog blossoms, I can't take any chances. You regret this day, Rackham. I regret most of them already. Tie them up! Cast them off. I'll gut you, Jack Rackham! I'll open you up! I'll tear out your organs and string your bloody loot with them! Stop your goddamn howling, Vane! There's no bloody use! Well, well! The fierce of Edward Kenway speaks, eh? Pray tell us, Captain, how to quit this predicament. And tell us what genius you have for sailing a boat with no sails and no rudder. Shut your gob! Still now. I'll take these oysters you've ordered. You mad sap. This island's crawling with food if only you'd care to look for it. Yeah, I am looking, louts. Well, some just here. <laughs> Don't! Don't come following now. Do you hear me? Don't come looking for me. Wretched fool. with the fishermen and their dories, Kenway! This island's mine! Come at me and I'll cap you, bastard! It was your bloody imagination that landed us here, Kenway! I'll be damned if I let that mine make one more decision for me! Will you not talk to me, Vane? Are you fixed on this madness? Madness? <laughs> Nothing mad about a man fighting to survive, is there? I mean you no harm, you corker! Now, let's work this out like gentlemen. Oh, God! I've got a bleeding headache on account of your jabbering. Now, stay back and let me live in peace. I would if you stop filching the food I gather and the water I find. I'll stop nothing till you pay me back in blood. You was the reason we were out looking for slavers. Vain! Face me, man!
I said not to follow. Jesus, you've lost your head, man. It's a fair exchange for finding these flintlocks and grenados. Listen, Vane. We can hunt with those guns. <laughs> and I mean to. You can't hide, can we? Into this mess, can't wait. And I'll be damned if I let you drag me into another. You keep this up, and I'll have to kill you, Vane. Bloody try, by all means. I see you coming, sir. I see you plain and clear. <laughs> it's either you or me who's leaving this island alive, Welcher. Because I'm not going to sail again in a world cursed by your ugly bug. Nancy boy, you only done half a fucking job. 
Fucking hell. Is this my reward for believing the best about men? For thinking that a bilge rat like you could muster up some fucking sense once in a while? Maybe Horner Gold was right. Maybe the world does need men of ambition to stop the likes of you from mucking it all up. <laughs> or maybe you just don't have the stones to live with no regrets. <laughs> don't save me a spot in hell, Shanker. I ain't coming soon.